Hi, Frankie. Hi, Frankie. How you doing? Can you give me a kiss? Oh, thank you so much. This is Frankie, and I'm Kevin. And I wanted to show you how to use the remote control web application feature in Unreal Engine 4.27. Actually, really specifically, I wanted to show you how to get it building, because I was running into some trouble with that at first. And now that I've got it figured out, I'm sure it can save you some time if you run into the same problems. All right, thanks so much, Frankie. Okay, so let's get started here. I'm on Windows 10. Um, and when you op I'll open up this project here and show you what I run into. There is a plugin that you have to enable in order to get to the point I'm at now. I'll quickly show you where that is. You can just search for the word remote in the plugins. But once I enabled this, I ran into some prompts that didn't make sense to me. And when I you know, did my best to follow the instructions, I still was running into problems. So you see here in the lower part of the editor screen, it says failed to launch the remote control web interface. So if you don't have, if you're not at this step yet, the way you get there is you go to plugins, search web remote, okay? And enable both of these, the remote control API and the remote control web interface. And you'll have to restart the editor once you enable those. But you notice here the instructions, it says, couldn't find node.js installed, please install latest node.js from uh, node.js.org uh, download. Well, if you follow those instructions and go to node.js.org, the latest versions are 16.13, that's the uh, LTS version, and then 17.3. But in the documentation for this feature of Unreal and this engine, this particular plugin, if you scroll down a little bit in these, this prerequisites area, it says the minimum version is 8 and the maximum version is 14.15.5. And so if you go and download either of these two packages that it, it kind of puts right in your face when you get on the, on the page, it won't build and you'll run into this problem. Now, if you've already done that and you're stuck there, you have to first uninstall Node.js from your system. And the way you do that is just search down here for uninstall Node.js and it'll bring up an uninstaller. You can, you can run that and uninstall. If you go to this uh, download section, you can find previous uh, versions. Okay, so previous releases. And then you can just search for that version that is the maximum. Okay, then it finds it here. Then you go to downloads and there's an MSI file down here you can download, okay? Um, once you get that downloaded, you can run it. Just follow all the defaults. I didn't have it install that. I don't know if that's required or not, but that's what I did. Okay, it's finished. Installing some additional tools. PowerShell needs to open. Okay, now it's done. Now, if I close this out and restart it, it should build. Remote control web interface is running and it, it quickly said there uh, the port number. If you want to find uh, these settings to mess with, go to project settings and search uh, for the plugin remote control. And you can change the port number there. You can see some other things here. So now if I open up in my browser, localhost uh, colon 7000 for the port number, now I have this remote control web application running because it's successfully built because I installed uh, a compatible Node.js version. So hopefully that gets you up and running. Uh, dig into this feature. It's very cool. And hopefully I'll be able to make some videos about uh, what you can do with it later. Thanks so much for watching.